Hello, today we will look at the different trade names of SGLT2 inhibitors. And please remember now that not all trade names are used all over the world. Some trade names, for example, are different in the United States, in Canada, in Europe, and so on. So I will now mention the ones we use here in Europe. And first of all, we need to know the names of the SGLT2 inhibitors themselves. And this is the most important thing to remember. Why? Because the molecules' names are the same all over the world. So, we can remember them by remembering an acronym of EDEC4. So, we have ertugliflozin, dapagliflozin, empagliflozin, and canagliflozin. And this order that I now mention is in decreasing order of kidney insufficiency allowance. What I mean is that the medications are allowed to be given by a certain GFR value, which means a glomerular filtration rate that is indicating the kidney function. And these values are GFR of less than 60 ml per minute for ertugliflozin, GFR of less than 45 ml for dapagliflozin and empagliflozin, and less than 30 ml for canagliflozin. And please remember now that these values can vary, of course, depending on which source you read, since the research is still ongoing with this new type of medications. Now, let us look at the trade names of EDEC. So, ertugliflozin has a trade name of Steglatro, dapagliflozin has a trade name of Forxiga, empagliflozin is Jardians, canagliflozin is Invocana. And unfortunately, it is not so easy to remember these since the names are so unrelated. So you have to learn these substance names and the trade names now by heart. And as we all know, repetition is the mother of knowledge. I cannot emphasize that more. Therefore, you need to repeat this many, many times. So now let's repeat this. EDEC stands for ertugliflozin, dapagliflozin, empagliflozin, and canagliflozin. Ertugliflozin is steglatro, dapagliflozin is forxiga, empagliflozin is jordians, canagliflozin is invocana. So we have steglatro, forxiga, jordians, and invocana. And these medications can be used as monotherapy, meaning one. So they are given alone, or we add something to it, which is a metformin to these medications, and then the trade names will change. What I mean is that we add metformin together with this SGLT2 inhibitor in a combination tablet, and the advantage is that we are giving a combination tablet composed of two molecules. And therefore, we have only one tablet instead of two. And this will increase now the compliance, which means that the likelihood of patients taking their medication will increase. So, let us start with ertugliflozin, which has a trade name of steglatro alone, and then seglurumet when metformin is added. Then we have dapagliflozin alone is for xiga, and with metformin it is called xigduo. Empagliflozin has a trade name of Jardians alone and Syniardi with metformin. Canagliflozin is Invocana and with metformin it's called Invocamet. So let us repeat again all these SGL22 inhibitors and the trade names with metformin and alone. Once again, the acronym EDEC stands for Ertugliflozin, Dapagliflozin, Empagliflozin, and Canagliflozin. Ertugliflozin has a trade name of Steglatro alone and Seglurumet with metformin. Dapagliflozin has a trade name of Forxiga alone and Xigdua with metformin. Empagliflozin is Jardians alone and Syniardi with metformin. And Canagliflozin alone is Invocana and Invocamet with metformin. So now let us repeat the trade names in pairs. We have Steglatro with Seglurumet with Forxiga and Xigduo, Jordians and Syniardi, Invocana and Invocamet. So, that was a lot of repetition, I know, and if you feel that you need more, then please watch this video as many times as you want, and please also check the other videos that I'm talking about, this medication group and all the separate medications where I go into more detail. And the aim of this video is only an overview of the, all the trade names belonging to the SGLT2 inhibitors. And I thank you very much for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.